Hi, I'm Regina, owner and chemist here at RA Alchemy Natural Products, and I'm going to show you in this video how to make a lanolin and beeswax skin cream. So what you're going to need, of course, are two main ingredients, your lanolin, which you can get in a thicker, more solidified form in the jar. Some other types you can find is the more thinner oil variety. If you'd rather use that, you can, but I prefer to use the more pure, solid form. And then the beeswax. The beeswax I have here is in the pellet form. If you can't find it in this form, just use it in the chunks and then just break off what you need. And then you're also going to need some vegetable oil of choice. You can use almond oil, avocado oil, coconut oil, safflower oil, anything that you wish to use. In this one, I'm using avocado oil. It's a really great nutritious oil. And then to finalize your skin cream, you're going to use an essential oil. And I'd rather you use a pure essential oil compared to just a regular fragrance oil because it's going to impart a lot of the wonderful healing properties along with the scent. And in this one, I'm using Ylang Ylang, which is a really wonderful, very beautifully floral essential oil. Really great for having more nutritive and regenerating properties. And this is the double boiler system. If you don't have one of these, you can make one easily at home. All you're going to need is a regular pot and then put about an inch or two of water at the bottom of the pot and then a heat resistant glass container or some sort of container that can go in the middle of it. Put your beeswax, your lanolin, your oil into that. And what that's going to do is it's going to heat the oils and beeswax distributed it evenly so this way it won't burn. So we're going to start off with a half a tablespoon of our lanolin. This is a tablespoon here so I'm just going to kind of eyeball a half so there. Put that into your double boiler. Now lanolin is wonderful. It's going to have a number of different properties to it. It also acts as a weak emulsifier and an emulsifier is something that helps to bind oil and water together. So but mainly what we're using in this formula is the lanolin for its nutritious properties and its protectant and healing properties for the skin. Then you can put in a half a tablespoon of your beeswax. And that one's going in there. Just kind of get all your little beeswax into your double boiler. And then you're going to put in a half a cup of your vegetable oil. So your vegetable oil is going to help bind everything together and then also create a really nice overall creamy texture and feel. And then put that in. So once you have your beeswax, lanolin, and your oil in, Mix it up and let it melt for just a few moments. It will take probably about five or 10 minutes, depending on how much of a batch you're making, but in this amount, just a few minutes. So once you're finished with it melting, which it looks like we're good, we're gonna pour it into our glass container here. Be careful, it is quite hot. You wanna pour it while it's still warm enough that it's thin and liquidy that you can pour it directly into your container. This will start to harden as it cools. Usually it takes a couple minutes, anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes. If you want to speed up the cooling process, you can always put it into a refrigerator or freezer. So at this point then, put in your essential oil. I like to put in about 15 to 20 drops or about a half a dropper full directly in there. And then just give it a quick mix. You can use this day and night. You can put it all over your face or all over your body, however you need, wherever you need real moisturizing, protecting properties and qualities. And that's how you make lanolin and beeswax skin cream.